Hello and welcome to a very tiny and very light, not that you can sense weight to the camera, a very tiny Centipede Press unboxing. Uh, it's a tiny little book, it's only like 200 pages. Uh, this is Dark Star. Oh, excuse me as I crinkle the bubble wrap. Dark Star, the novelization of the John Carpenter film by Alan Dean Foster. Who is a little tiny guy? And came with uh, this piece of paper that says 66 to 93, which my copy is 68 to match uh, a couple of my other Centipede Press titles. So that's pretty exciting. So anyways, number 68, tipped by RF, who's tipped several of the other Centipede Press titles. Uh, so Dark Star, if you're not aware of the film, was John Carpenter's uh, student film. Very first picture. John Carpenter of, you know, uh, The Thing and Halloween, Big Trouble in Little China. Got to keep this, of course. Always keep the little slips that come with it. And it's kind of a... I haven't, I've never seen it, but it, it's described as a comedic science fiction film, which has to be very creatively shot because there's only a budget of like $60,000. Dust jacket's a little off-center, but I can try to adjust that later. Anyways, Alan Dean Foster did the novelization for it, which was the start of... Whoa! Hoo, hoo, the start of a lot of novelizations down the road. There is the dust jacket. Very small and compact. Uh, you can definitely tell it's got comedic elements to it. You got some beer floating in space, astronauts holding a broom. But anyways, let's take a moment to appreciate this. That is three color stamping. Holy crap. That is a beautiful board. I had seen a photo of it. Uh, thank you, Charlie, for sending me a photo of it. But man, seeing it in person, wow, that is a beautiful beautiful board. Uh, European cloth and a ribbon marker, much like a lot of other Centipede Press titles. Uh, anyways, I got distracted. From Alan, Dean Sposter, Alan Dean Foster, this was his very first uh, adaptation. Dust Jacket by Ben Baldwin, by the way. Based on the screenplay by John Carpenter and Dan O'Bannon. Oh, that's the original cover there, I suppose. Uh, it's about a crew... The surviving crew of a spaceship going around and kind of helping to protect. I gotta say, you get all these comedy things, then you get the movie poster, and you definitely don't get a comedic uh, feel from that image. Uh, at least I don't. Got a nice introduction by him, directing John Carpenter. Uh, it's about a crew, a surviving crew of a spaceship going around and kind of helping keep the colonizations safe uh, from presumably dark stars. Uh, or dark star might be the name of the ship. I, like I, said, I'm, I apologize, I have not seen the film. But, uh, yeah, I know they're kind of... Oh, dark star is the ship. Yeah, dark star is the ship. So it says. But I know it's kind of mind-numbingly boring. There it is, number 68, signed by Alan Dean Foster and Ben Baldwin. Ben Baldwin did the illustrations of the dust jacket. I know they have uh, like an alien aboard, which is kind of a playful alien. There's a sentient bomb, I heard. Um, and then Alan Dean Foster went on to do a lot of other novelizations as well. He did the Star Wars novelizations. Uh, he did some Star Trek novelizations, which makes us the second Star Trek novelist that Centipede Press has published of late, the first one being James Bleach, uh, for Case of Conscience. Then he did uh, the Alien novelizations. Uh, controversially, uh, a lot of, oh my god, controversially, I can't speak English, there was a lot of controversy, which is the word I was trying to say, as I said it in a weird way, uh, regarding Alan Dean Foster not getting his royalties after Disney acquired LucasArts and then acquired Fox. Um, and that was actually just resolved this past week, which is so excellent to hear. You know, there are a lot of authors on board with that, including Neil Gaiman. 
uh, several others. But anyways, controversial, controversially, I cannot speak English today. I combined it with controversy, and you get controversy. But anyways, English being not my strong suit today, not being my strong suit. After a long day of work, I can't speak English at all. It's Dust, Art, Dust Jacket Art by Ben Baldwin. A beautiful little tome, number 68, from Centipede Press. Um, maybe he'll, we'll see some other Alan Dean Foster coming up along. Who knows? We shall see. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.